Hello Booktube! Hello friends! Welcome to Lizzie Fay Loves Books. I'm Elizabeth and it is Friday and since May started on a Friday I thought I would just try to do a video every Friday for the rest of May and make it a Friday Reads and tell you about the books that I finished during the week prior. Because it's middle grade May this month and I'm planning to read a lot of shorter books I think this will be a little bit better way to share those with you rather than trying to wait even until midpoint in the month because there's going to be a lot by the time we get to the end of the month. At least I'm planning for there to be. I have already finished 10 books this month. About half of those were adult books and the other half uh, kids books. So I had said when I did a, a little mini TBR video about the Light and Dark Readathon that I had some adult books leftover from April that I wanted to finish. I did end up listening to a few on audio that I would not have listened to otherwise because of the light versus dark readathon. And so wanted to, you know, take one for the team. I actually took two for the team. <laughs> I listened to two dark books that I would not have listened to at all if it hadn't been for the light and dark readathon. Well, I take that back. I remember when Sarah... If, said that, you know, she was going to encourage everybody to join her for the Audible Escape category challenge. She talked about this last year. Then she eventually decided she had too much on her plate and she quit doing it. I decided I would continue to do it and not only listen to 24 books for one year, I would go ahead and continue on into this year and listen to something from all 41 categories. Well, I knew. I knew that that was going to include the darker stuff. So when I heard about the Light and Dark Readathon and I decided I was going to participate, I thought, you know what? Since we get double points for reading outside of our comfort zone, I'm going to take this opportunity to go ahead and listen to something short, very short, from each of the darkest categories so that I can knock them out for the challenge and take a couple of for the team for the light dark uh, light versus dark readathon. So that's what I did. I listened to something from the dark category and something something from the erotica category. Really the dark category was I don't know if you would call it erotic, but it was graphic. Definitely more graphic than uh, than the erotica category. Hold on one second. Emily needed to walk through and uh, and sit down in here with me. So anyway, I, I'm not even going to go into what I listen to. You're welcome to look at my Goodreads. I usually have a link at the in the description of each video. I'm not proud of the fact that I listened to those. It was not only out of my comfort zone, but out of my moral away off my moral compass to listen to those and um you know i i apologize to those of you who are christians and would think that's bad of me to do that um normally i wouldn't but i let myself be talked into it anyway uh moving on i did listen to a couple that i would uh consider uh for the light side, this one really was from the gothic category, but not anything that I would consider really dark. And it had a, the a lighter colors on the cover. So it counted for the light side, and uh, I listened to Northanger Abbey. This was for the category challenge for gothic that I was going to listen to in April, and I didn't get to it. I had this copy checked out from the library, so I mentioned in my little light versus dark TBR video that I had two books checked out from the library that I didn't get to in April. So this is one of them. I did listen to this. It was okay. I don't connect really well with Jane Austen until I watch a movie adaptation. Then I, it kind of all starts to come together. So this is my fourth Jane Austen. Uh, I listened to Pride and Prejudice years ago, and I remember then thinking, I don't really get what all the fuss is about. But now that I've, you know, watched a couple movies and I've read it again, I understand it better. It grows on me. And the same thing with Emma and Sense and Sensibility. So now this is the fourth one, and um, I'm glad that I that I listened to it. And I did watch a movie of it after that. It was the one starring Felicity Jones, and I uh, found it on Hoopla. So I was excited to get to watch a movie right after finishing that, and that really solidified the story for me. Okay, so then in, um, oh, 
the other library book that I, I still have checked out is The Long Quiche Goodbye by Avery Ames, and I just started it a couple of days ago because first I wanted to read a book that was my own book that I've already loaned to somebody else, but it's for a book club, and I wanted to make sure that I got it done. I did, needed not have worried about that because I flew through it. It was so good. I'm not going to be able to show you a picture, but... I did actually put a picture of it on my Instagram before I loaned it to a friend. It's called State of the Onion by Julie Heisey. And just to sum it up, it's the best cozy mystery I've ever read, in my opinion. I, the one I've enjoyed the most. It's the first book in the White House Chef Mystery Series. I have five more on my shelf, and I can't wait to read them. It was so good. I loved it. And so those are the cozy mysteries that I'm reading this month, and I think that's everything. Oh, I did listen to one other really quick audiobook on the Audible Escape Package during the Light and Dark Readathon, because after listening to those really two dark ones, I needed a palate cleanser. I needed to just get that awful stuff out of my head. So I listened to a really short little book called Love in Amish Land. It's kind of a second chance romance about these two people who had been Amish and both had left the community and found each other again after having courted when they were younger. And so, um, <laughs> sorry, I was trying to figure out what Emily was doing. She's pulling some stickers off of something that's fine. Okay, so let's get started with the children's books. I have, um, I'm participating in Middle Grade May, which is hosted by Acosta, from Acosta with K. I will link her Instagram below and her YouTube channel. She said she's going to do some Instagram challenges. I haven't seen those yet, but uh, hopefully those will be coming out soon. So I started out, as far as Middle Grade and children's books, I started out with some boxcar children. I found uh, that Hoopla has, I think, probably almost all of the boxcar children on audio on Hoopla. I had listened to book five during March Mystery Madness, so I thought I'd just go back to the beginning. It's been a few years since I have listened to or read any of those. I did not know about the boxcar children when I was a kid. And uh, they were, I think, when did they come out? Maybe in the 40s? And I, and I was born in 64. I don't know how I missed them. I just somehow missed them. But uh, I did listen to the first boxcar children, and then I went to the Boxcar Children Beginning, which is a much newer book. This is by Patricia McLaughlin, who wrote Sarah Plain at All. And I listened to this because this is like a prequel story. It was really sweet. You get to meet the parents, and it was, it was sweet and bittersweet. Then I moved on into a series that I started several years ago, and I listened to the first two books again. The first book is The City of Ember, or Secret of Ember, or Book of Ember, or something about Ember. The series is Book of Ember. And I read it in print the first time. I think Katie was fourth or fifth grade. She was reading it, and I read it, and I really enjoyed it. I apologize for that noise. I forgot to turn the sound off of my phone. Anyway, I went on into the second book, which is not this one. <laughs> the second book is this one, The People of Sparks. And I enjoyed that better better than I thought. This is the third book, so I'm going to have to read it in print. This one, oh my goodness, I am so sorry. And I'm going to have to read... Um, this one and book four in print. I can't find them on audio anywhere in any of the library resources. The uh, first two I listened to on RB Digital for free um, because that's a library uh, library resource. Yesterday I started PSB 11 and I could have probably finished it yesterday except that it was Emily's birthday so I kind of had to push everything aside and finish decorating. Well, actually, uh, Katie decorated her cake. I made the cake, and then I uh, had to get dinner ready, and then Katie decorated the cake. But uh, we had a nice uh, evening yesterday, so I did not get finished with this. This is book two in the Gaither Sisters trilogy. It's the sequel to One Crazy Summer, which I've already read in a previous year. There's a third book. I don't own it, but all I think all three of them are on Hoopla on audio. So I'm listening to this. It's really cute. I'm probably half done with it. And uh, I thought it was really cute. But for some reason today, instead of finishing that, oh, I know because I have this downloaded on one phone and then something else downloaded on my old phone. And my other phone was charging. So I started listening to Honey by Sarah Weeks. And I think I have that pulled up here somewhere. Let me see if I can find it. Well, anyway, I started it today, so I'll, 
I'll talk about that next week. So uh, it's it's cute. It's just something I've been listening to today. I had a copy. We have a copy somewhere, and uh, it, somewhere in Katie's stuff, or else she put it in the yard sale when she was done with it. I couldn't find it. So um, then the other book I am li uh, reading on my Kindle is by my friend Elizabeth Tyree. It's called Dragon on My Neck, and I have had her books in my Kindle library for probably a year now, and I've only read one or two of them, and I need to read this Dragon series. So uh, Elizabeth Tyree has a YouTube channel. In fact, she and I have both in the past been co-hosts for Middle Grade May. She is also a moderator on the Middle Grade May or MG Lit Goodreads group that uh, a class started several years ago when this whole middle grade May thing started. So uh, check her out. And I am reading this book finally. So uh, it's really cute. And I'm happy that I'm finally getting to it. I can't think of anything else. And I'm probably almost out of time. So um, that is about it. Let me just check my Goodreads and just see if there was anything else I wanted to tell you about. Oh, uh, last night for Emily's birthday, I gave her this little Trolls book. It's actually three stories in one. And so this was my book a day for yesterday was the this little Trolls book. It's three in one and I couldn't find it on Goodreads. So I had to put a, a different book, a different Trolls book on my on my Goodreads. Uh, anyway, it was cute. So that's about it. I think that's everything that I have uh, read or listened to so far in the first week of May. Uh, with the exception of finishing The Long Quiche Goodbye, the rest of the month is all middle grade. So I'm going to finish this and, um, and then that's it. Everything else is going to be middle grade for the rest of the month. So that's all for this video. I hope you're having a great day. Watch soon for my review and discussion of The Coffee House Mysteries by Cleo Coyle. I just finished editing that and it's coming up hopefully tomorrow. So that's all for this video. I hope you're having a great day. Read a good book and God bless you. Hi, I'm back quickly. I wanted to add a couple of things. After I finished filming this video, I was watching it and I realized I completely forgot to tell you about one of the books that I'm currently reading. And meanwhile, Emily and I made a quick run over to a library several towns away that's been doing curbside service. So in the stuff I had ordered was a physical copy of the book I forgot to tell you about and also a library copy of the book that I had loaned to one of the other book club members. I ordered this one in case any of the other book club members needed it. And so while I have it, let me just show you State of the Onion. This is my new favorite cozy mystery. Can't wait to read more of the series. It's by Julie Heisey, and it was really, really good. I loved it. And then the book I completely forgot to show you is another adult book I'm currently reading. I mentioned that The Long Quiche Goodbye was the last adult book I needed to read this month, but I completely forgot. For book club, I am listening to Lost Roses by Martha Hall Kelly. This is the sequel or prequel to Lilac Girls, and I'm just, I'm not excited about it. I'm afraid it's going to be as tough to read as Lilac Girls was, and I, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about it. I'm about 25% in. I'm listening to it on audio on RB Digital, and so um, let me know if you've read this and uh you know, just kind of let me know what to expect. I'm a little nervous. So that's it. Uh, that is all I have for this video. So I hope you're having a great day. Read a good book and God bless you.